This screencast walks you through what's new in Komodo IDE 4.4. We'll cover some unit testing integration changes and new features like the sections list, SCC change lists, and multi-file SCC commit. Now on the surface, the test results interface has not changed much, but there are a couple things worth pointing out. If you watched the screencast on Komodo 4.3 features, I mentioned global test plans. These have been replaced by test plans which are saved in a file's preferences. If you have some existing global test plans that you'd like to keep, there's a menu item for migrating them to a file's preferences. You select the file you want to associate them with, Tools, Test, Move Global Test Plans to Document. It gives you this little interface for copying or moving those test plans over. The unit test interface is now extensible and Eric Promislau has written an article on how to add a test harness to Komodo and provided an extension for Python nose support uh, as an example. We hope this encourages people to write extensions for all the various unit testing frameworks out there. There's a new component in the status bar called the sections list down here which displays a list of code or markup objects in the current buffer. When you're coding, it will display the object node for the current position of the cursor. If you click on it, it shows you a list with all the objects in the file, and you can click on any of these to jump to the corresponding part of the file. When you select the field in the status bar, which you can do by clicking on it or hitting Control F8 or whichever key binding you choose to associate with it, it becomes a filter field, so you can quickly find the node you want, hit enter, and the cursor moves there. If you've used the source code control tools in Komodo before, you may have found yourself having to drop to the command line or to an external SCC client for multi-file commits. You can do these in Komodo now, and there are a few handy features we've added to the interface. The new commit dialog gives you options to add additional files to a commit or to show a diff. It will show you if there are any files in the current directory or subdirectories which have pending operations, and you can add these just by selecting them. You can also browse to add more files or more directories. This interface is also used in conjunction with the new change list support. Change lists are groups of files with pending SCC operations, and there's a new tab next to the toolbox which shows them. Files under source code control which are modified in Komodo get added by default to the default changes list. You can add new change lists and drag files in between change lists or drag them in from an editor tab or from a project. You can perform an update, a diff, a commit, or a revert on the entire list. And uh, doing a diff this way makes it really easy to create multi-file patches. If you're a PHP developer, you might want to check out our new project template, the new Zend MVC project template, which helps with the creation of those projects. There's more information in Komodo's help on all these new features, and we hope you enjoy them.